welcome to Vista Atenas. I really want uh, to explore some of the myths and misconceptions about eating a carnivore diet. Well, what I've learned is our standard American diet, which is pretty much a high plant-based, lean meat diet and no red meat, is causing all of our problems. I really like people to understand is eating meat is not bad. How would you define food addiction? Six months of consistent carnivore eating, I started to feel less and less hungry. I don't think we should judge people, whatever their journey is, but encourage them. You need enough protein, you mm -hmm. need enough fat. Right. You know, so it's not about one or the other, mm -hmm. it is both. What we're doing in this journey isn't about fat loss, it's not about looking good, it's about improving your quality of life. You ate past your personal fat threshold. You ate yeah, I don't know what calories. that term means. I haven't read that in the literature. You haven't? Mm -mm. Okay. Let's not make it about you and me right now. I wasn't. Okay. For people to be so cruel breaks my heart. And I'm dealing with a lot of um, family struggles. Maria and I go back a long way. I love Maria like a sister. And uh, that's not the first time we've ever butted heads. My health has been on the edge for many years. Our entire lives, we have been told that meat is bad for our health. I feel really good at this point in my life, but that has not always been the case. I mean, I thought it was crazy. Eat only meat? Like, this? who does this? And that's our job as physicians, to inspire our clients, our patients, our community, that they can do it. Remember, what we're doing here is, is really making history. This is, this is groundbreaking. There's never been a series like this, and it took us to do it.